hello, the Apple Tree Cafe. Well, it was a chance encounter with a friend at work. She told me that the cafe in Senin was up for sale. And I said, which cafe do you mean? And what, the one on the beach? And she said, oh, no, you know, that other little cafe behind. And I went, oh. And I went straight from work, drove down here, looked at it, and I fell in love with the building. Helen's really interesting because she had been a nurse for 25 years. She'd never worked in business at all, so she knew nothing before she joined the Outset programme. I've never thought of going into business, but I think when you live in Cornwall, jobs are very limited and a lot of people have got their own business. I thought, well, other people can do it. I'm sure I can do it. We know the area really well, so we thought, oh, we could have cyclists here, we could have walks, we could have coffee, and it just kind of grew and grew and grew, really. I actually had it on my business plan that I wanted to link up with artists. Two of them decided that they'd have a studio space there and then we agreed that the cafe would be for sort of exhibiting all of the artists' work. Helen read in the Outset newsletter that I had experience in both the retail and restaurant business. She knew that I had a lot of the skills that she might want. When Heather came on board, that was really fantastic to have somebody to sort of talk to. And then obviously the mentoring, just somebody that's done it and been there and it's been a really good opportunity really. We had a, a fabulous first session. Um, it's a really delightful operation. All our food is cooked from scratch. We use it seasonally as much as possible so that it's at its best. Organic, fresh, English, that kind of homestay, you know, all the things that kind of feel good. It's not just about sitting down eating your food and that's actually thinking about where it's come from, how we get rid of our waste because I'm quite interested in sort of it being a sustainable business. It is the community aspect and I wanted it very much to be here for people that live and work here not just for tourists in the season. It has worked you know because the locals are supporting us. We set to straight away looking at her menus, her recruitment policy. Fine tuning some of my pricing, making that sort of simpler. She also wanted to help with how to structure her personnel procedures. She's using the Federation of Small Businesses to assist her in that. Did a lot of cafe research with my family and we sort of took photos and wrote down sort of little meal ideas. I went around the local community, lots of groups and things like that. Every single person put a decent good cup of coffee because there's nowhere around here where you can get one. So that gave me the confidence to go and buy a very expensive coffee machine. The last thing we've been looking at together is a little tiny building on the back of the cafe. She's hoping to build a bakery there because her husband produces all the bread. We've had people that run B&Bs wanting us to supply them with bread. We've even had Archie Browns from Penzance, the health food shop, asking us. So we know that there's definitely a market and the locals love it and the holiday makers love it. So that's something that people really want. The best thing is I can do what I like. <laughs> You know, if I want a new special or we fancy trying something different, you know, we can do it. She's been a real delight to work with because she's taken on board everything that the Outset programme has taught her. Going to all the post start up Outset Cornwall things have been really good because we did a SWOT analysis with our business idea. That really got me to think and gave me confidence to actually go for something quite different from what was already around. I've tried to go to things to give me more knowledge on the subjects that I'm not so good at, rather than going for the things that I already know lots about. The place is above and beyond what I could possibly have imagined. We've got a whole book of lovely comments and I've never had so many well wishes in my entire life. People come in here and they love it. And I'm pleased to say that her cash flow projections are almost spot on the nail. I've written what I've actually taken every month and I'm actually set on track to almost be within one or two thousand pounds. By the end of the year, I probably will have made some profit, which for a first year in business is actually incredibly good. I didn't expect in the first eight months to have come as far as I have, but I'm ticking off a lot of things that I put in my business plan that are already happening, and that kind of makes you feel really good.